Hey, thanks for joining me. Travis from The Knife Joker. Tonight coming at you with, with a new model. Well, three versions, really, of one new model. A Leong Ma design. Comes in the zipper pouch, which well, most of his knives do these days. The little cleaning cloth, the Velcro rubber patch. Little calling card there for Leong. But yeah, let's let's check out these brand new, just out the Zulus. Zulu. The Zulu has been, well, I guess, kind of highly anticipated. You know, the Hawks, the Hawks did just come out, and a lot of people were saying, well, gee, they want to see the see the Zulu before they can make any decisions. So. Well, let's get right into one. We'll start with this this brown one. As you can see, three versions. A green micarta, a brown micarta, and a black micarta. All micarta. Let's check one of these out. Start here in the closed position. You see that bead blast titanium. Micarta insert. Matching insert on both sides. Still at that Leon Ma titanium pivot. Once again, he has that lanyard hole there on the back of the knife in inside the scales. And the backspace are just barely proud of the handle scales. This Backspacer being a full backspacer, meaning coming up all the way up. Mm, could be good, maybe adds a little weight. You know, whether you like that open construction, or that, that short backspacer, or that or that full backspacer. You know, there's benefits to that full, full backspacer, I suppose. Change in your pocket, getting inside the knife or whatever but yeah this this Zulu come with that full backspacer there's that clip that Leon Ma popular clip this year that spring clip and reversible looks pretty good here on the Zulu fits right in and once again that ceramic ball Pretty easy in and out of the pocket. You see that kind of a 45 degree little, not super minimalist, but kind of a small flipper tab, I, I, I guess I'd say. Flip that blade out. First thing you're gonna notice, I mean, first thing I noticed was, well, actually the hollow grind and then the nail nick. Then just the, the quality itself. Now, whatever you notice first, I mean, there there it is. Whether it's the precision of the edge bevel. What is the attractiveness of that main grind? Whether it was that nail nick standing out or that jumping in there on the back. You know, there's a lot of things to notice. Pretty kind of a plain knife then again not so plain when you see it in the right light I mean plain being just meaning in my mind using that term no crazy crazy blade shapes just a super usable blade shape for using and for sharpening let's see if I get a Shot of that hollow grind. Pretty good hollow grind. I don't know what the actual measurements of the hollow grind are, but pretty deep hollow grind. Gotta be a good slicer. I mean, these just came out, what was that, yesterday or, or something? So, no, I haven't used one. 
You can see that. I get a shot of it. Get down a little closer. And that spine is taken back just barely. Not real sweats, just barely taken back there. And then all the way down. No sharp edges here on this knife. So this being the Zulu, yet it is a frame lock. Steel lock bar insert. And this inlay overlaid right there over the lock bar, making it pretty pretty easy to deploy, meaning you know, your fingers really aren't on the lock bar when you go to flip this open. So you can be pretty pretty relaxed about that. I mean, sometimes if your hands push you on the lock bar, you get the detent ball in there and you can't open it, but pretty easy to open. See if I push this as, as easy as I can, check that detent. It just flies right open. I mean, great detent here from Riot. These being built by Riot. There's that lockup, just getting a good shot of that lockup. About 25%, 30% lockup, maybe. And that back, inside of that backspacer, what's kind of milled down. Let's check the centering. It always looks pretty cool inside the Leon Mal backspacer, how it's milled down like that. Just floating right in there. We sure did look at this brown one for a little bit. Let's let's check out this green one. You know, the only difference here, just the micarta. This micarta being that pretty, pretty raw micarta, not super finished. I think my hand's a little bit sweaty right here. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, sweat went right into it. Change the color, change the look. Not to finger it up too much, but it's gonna happen. So there is my uh, my Carta Lanny, the green my Carta Lanny after I've been handling it here for a minute. And you know, it'll, it'll probably just dry right out again. After I stop handling it, go right back to that same look. You can see it's already starting to dry a little bit. But yeah, you get it wet. Whatever, it's pretty raw micarta, so whether you like that or don't like that, there it is, pretty pretty darn cool. I mean, it's a little soft, you know, compared to that finished, finished micarta, which is kind of like on this Lanny here. It'd be more comparable to the black one, wouldn't it? So let's, let's check out the black one. You know, some of this micarta has more striping than others. Striping varies from knife to knife. Pretty gray, pretty black in spots. Once again, only variance just being that color, color of the micarta. But yeah, that, once again, that raw, that raw micarta as opposed to like here on this Lanny was more of a mm, sanded down, maybe oiled. My carta is being a little harder. That doesn't really absorb your oil on your hand like you know possibly this one might. This one feeling a little a little softer to touch. Let's get a measurement. Let's see how big these things are. It's funny people have said, well darn it, it's very close to the hawk and well. It's true. It is very close to the hawk. I'll get a measurement on the, on the weight on one of these right off the bat. There it is. 3.63. Just wondering real quick what the hawk does weigh. 3.27. Just a little bit heavier than the Hawk. It's just a little bit bigger than the Hawk in all reality. 3.63 for the weight. Let's check.
check out the length on one of these. I like to just get out the tape measure and just try to measure it as close as I can like this. Three and a quarter inch blade. And we got seven and a half inches to the back of that, that screw right there. And I did review the Hawks, but um, I, 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 I do want to know. I want to know the, the difference. Um, three and a quarter inch blade, same blade length, but um, seven and three eighths. It's about an eighth of an inch shorter there. Of course, this one, the Hawk, being hollow ground M390. And, well, I didn't even mention it, did I? Zulu probably saw that. Hollow ground M390. Well, you see the little, little difference between the way the inlay is put in there. Being open on the back and the Zulu being, of course, full surrounded inlay there. Another slight difference. Of course, this... Having the nail nick and haven't even tried it on the video yet. Definitely flips great. I don't see myself necessarily flicking this open like this. But as a two-handed nail nick, of course that works. I don't know if this one's more the rugged knife. You know, I thought maybe this is the more... The rugged knife, and that full back spacer, just a little bit heavier and maybe barely bigger than the Hawk. Yet, I think with that nail nick, it gives it a little bit of that gentleman's feel to where, you know, you're in a rush, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Just flip that open. But I don't know, maybe if you're in a restaurant or... A uh, public bench in the public park or something, you know, you pull that out. Lady sitting right next to you, and you just kind of do do do, you know, clean your apple or the thread on your pants, your nails, whatever. And then you can close it up all quietly. Well, not too quietly, it's pretty. Nice detail on these, but that little click. So yeah, that little nail nick for the right-handed person. Not left-handed, but I'll, I'll do it. Should be able to do this. Nail nick for that left-handed person. Trim your thread on your, your pants, your trousers in public. Then of course, at home at night watching TV, and you're you're just you're just flicking. So it might happen. Two opening methods, but yeah, I don't, I don't really see that that you're gonna um, use it any any other way than probably the nail nick. Get a little side by side. Action. Well, we got the side by side here on the Hawk. Oh, jumpy camera. Bring out another Hawk. I mean, there's some differences between the Hawk. Is the Hawk you can get that carbon fiber insert, or you get some full titanium, which is definitely different with that sculpted titanium there. So. Not to go back to the Hawk again, but as you can see, they're they're pretty darn close. I don't know if you get both of those. You you know, I I know a guy getting both of those actually, but um, he'll be able to compare them. Maybe we'll watch his video here soon. I'd like to check out one of these out next to that Lanny. That Lanny being you know, almost the same blade length. But you can see that Lanny's a little, little beefier, little 
beefier in in a lot of ways. I think it's a little thicker here. A little taller in the handle. A little bigger in the in the blade. Well, I can't guarantee, but I, I think that Lanny probably weighs a little more, although it only has that that partial back spacer. Of course, I keep saying these do have similar blade shapes to this eraser. Well, I was saying that about the about the hawk. You can see with these three side by side here. I move the knives around enough. Well, if I ever get a good shot, I keep moving around. There's that eraser, the Zulu, the hawk, all there side by side. Obviously, this is the big, the big mamba, mama. Look at another, another one. Maybe that T2500, which, well, obviously it's a two and a half inch blade. It's way smaller. And then that Riot Wave, that's pretty close. The Riot Wave, the wave's got that flat grind, so way different blade. But close to the same shape. Just trying to get some side-by-sides, uh, some comparisons, maybe if you have a wave or felt the wave. You can see it's, it's pretty similar sized. Although that, that hollow grind, probably gonna slice better. Well, let's check out some spider codes maybe. That delicate, well, probably a quarter inch shorter, isn't it? But it's good to look at, look at that next to the delica. A lot of people handled the delica there's that native. Of course, once again, it you know it's it's about a quarter inch bigger than the native. But a lot of people handled the native, so it's not the worst comparison in the world. Well, I guess if this is three ish, and that's three and a quarter ish, well the Indella is three and a half inch ish. So gonna be right right in between the Indella. And the Delica, as far as size go, which is pretty obvious if you're looking at it on paper. But there they are side by side in, in a camera, in a camera view. Get get these spider coats back out of here. And get the main lineup here once again. The three versions that are out now. And, and I don't know if any more versions will come or this this will be it you know will a full titanium one come or carbon fiber I, you know i really don't know we, we can look at the well, the magazine here but the young ma catalog and i'm just looking in here the zulu i if i can find it again oh here's the zulu just looking at those pictures, this is pretty much what I was expecting. And did end up weighing a little bit less, but I was just looking at those. It didn't look like finished micarta here in the pictures on the Zulu, especially that brown. And then, you know, get them here in person, and it, it's it's that soft micarta. So, you know, you might, you might real be real happy about that. You might be sad about it. I'm not sure if it's just the way the picture looked or they actually changed it from the hard finished to the softer micarta. Well, it's just a little thing that I noticed. Well, thanks for joining me. If you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more about these Zulus, you can check them out at thenifejoker.com. And we'll see you next time.